City leaders meeting in Little Rock to discuss the future of jobs in Arkansas as automation continues to increase. Good evening to you. I'm Nate Custer. Thank you for joining us tonight. According to a study from Oxford University, more than 45% of jobs could be automated by the year 2050. KWA's Lance Lloyd went to Springdale to see how the city's already starting to see the impact of automation on its community sports fields. For years, lines on fields here at the Tyson Sports Complex in Springdale were painted by hand. But now that'll be a thing of the past as they're getting a robot that will completely automate the process. And many say this is the way of the future. When I first saw this thing, I thought it was the coolest thing I've ever seen. Springdale is cutting nearly $75,000 over six years in labor and paint costs by putting this robot called the Turf Tank to work. It will just allow that staff to continue to do or increase what they're doing because they're not having to stop and go do this. Director of Parks and Recreation Bill Mock says this will help his employees be more efficient while painting all of the sports fields, letting them cut the time it takes to paint the park in half. 30 minutes um, with the robot, probably 10. <laughs> wow, this is going to be the jewel, yes. But it wasn't all open arms for the extra help at first. I had guys that I had that question on my crew, you know, well, if we get this, you know, what's going to happen with not really more a job than are we going to be able to hire more people if we need them. Less time and money spent on laying the lines, but in the end, Monk says this will be a benefit for the city. Because, yes, it's going to pay for itself. Uh, and, uh, and then so. And for the labor, they say they aren't worried the world is being taken over by robots, but are happy to be receiving the extra help. On our end, we're, this not replacing anybody. Um, it's not going to take anybody's place. It's just we're using it as more of to let our guys be more efficient with the work they're already doing. In Springdale, Lance Lloyd, KNWA Northwest Arkansas News.